We got Macy Barber back here on the program. Is coming off an impressive UFC debut over Hannah Cypher. She gets that second round finish at UFC Fight Night 139. Macy, how are you? Do I even have to ask? I mean, it's pretty much assumed that you're probably doing pretty great. I'm fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty great. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's so cool, uh, you know, for those in the know, I mean, we followed your career, but uh, we were just talking off air. You've been doing the media rounds, doing Ariel Hawani's show. How has that been just being this, you know, kind of star at this point after the weekend? It's good. I'm definitely getting tons of experience and tons of learning um, in every every interview that I do. I, you know, I had Ariel Hawani and then I had Matt Sarah and then, yeah, I have a few other ones after this. So I'm getting plenty of experience. That's good, because that, that's obviously part of it, too, is the media side of it. But, uh, you know, we've been doing interviews for a while, so I think, yeah, you know, you've been a little bit seasoned at this point. Yeah, yeah, I like doing interviews. with you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's uh, that's awesome. Like, cool. um, one of the things I noticed, even before the fight started, was you seemed so relaxed in there. I mean, you usually are in your fights, but it seemed like you really took in the moment in Denver. Um, how did the walkout compare to, you know, Contender Series, LFA? How, how was it when you actually walked into the cage? It was great, you know, I, everyone's like, just, you know, it's... I had my coaches and, and everyone just told me take it all in and and uh, I definitely wanted to hear some noise. You know, I, I get excited when when I have it, other people are excited for me. So um, my brothers were like, "You were throwing your hands up a ton," and I was like, "Yeah, but it was so cool because every time I did, I felt like everyone got louder." So um, yeah, it was good. It was just an overall uh, incredible experience. Uh, people talked about Hannah's strength in this fight uh, heading into it because, you know, oh, she, you know. she works on a farm. H how was that, you know, dealing with that in the fight? Because uh, I'm sure when you guys clinched, you really got to feel that. She was a fire plug. She was, yeah, she was, she's strong. Um, I think I said this about Jamie Colleen. I was like, man, she has that, that woman's strength of like being really, really strong. And man, this was, this was like an even different, even a completely different kind of strong it, it's true though but um it's a functional strength you know when you when you grow up and you do things like using chainsaws and whatever else she was doing you know uh, working on a farm i mean she's got that functional strength and and she can really give a lot of girls some some trouble you know i mean she's probably one of the toughest and i mean the strongest girls you know that you're ever going to face even in toughest too i mean she took those elbows and i was like wow like dang i don't want to get hit with that like you know i mean that was she's tough i was going to ask you about that Did, were you ever worried that the ref wasn't going to step in and stop the fight because you were landing some pretty heavy shots and uh it seemed i don't want to say it was late but it, it seemed like he you know they, they were taking their time to stop that fight uh, no, I mean, nothing was as late of a stoppage as the one when, uh, I fought Audrey Perkins, I don't think. Um, so, I mean, I've had, I've had a few people give me a few late stoppages and yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of it, <clears throat> but there's two ways to look at it. I mean, if you look at it, like, you know, I, I, if I was on the bottom, I definitely would like to, to be given every second I can to be able to fight out of there. But at the same time, the other way to look at it is you don't need to take that much damage. I mean, how much of it is necessary? I mean, it's, it's obvious, you know, where's the fight going to go from there? Uh, nowhere. Right. I mean, as soon as you, as soon as their hands are up, I mean, as soon as that the first couple land, there's really nowhere to go. Um, and then you're just taking, you're just taking unnecessary damage and, and that's just going to make your career a little bit harder or, or, you know, even, even harder to come back from, you know, once you, once you get take damage like that, I can't speak from experience, but, um, I've had a couple of people tell me that, you know, once you take some damage like that, I mean, it's, it's changes you. So we'll see. Anything else about her surprise you in the fight? No, I mean, honestly, I mean, she was, she was tough and she was strong. I mean, she was well-rounded too. I mean, uh, yeah, she's, she's really strong. <laughs> um, aside from being strong, uh, the, I feel like my technique was able to, to overpower that. I mean, she was definitely stronger than, or, or as strong, definitely probably a little bit stronger than I was, but, um, yeah, the, the technique that I was able to use helped me out a lot. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think a few people were a little bit shocked, uh, when they did the interviews with her, they're like, man, she's really quiet. You know, she's like, you know, super shy, but I mean, sometimes, uh, clearly sometimes those are the, the toughest people, you know? Yeah. No, no, I agree. Um, so, and, and the other thing I wanted to ask you, uh, training at Factory X, seeing Devante and Mark De La Rosa win earlier, did that help you in your fight? Did that kind of give you a boost or were you, were you just sort of focused on your task at hand? No, I did. I, I was super excited for them. You know, I, 
Every time I go out to fight, especially if I fight on the same card as some people, but uh, I definitely like I get distracted. I, I want to watch, so I'll just sit there and I'll watch the fights like I'm like I'm at home watching the fights, and I'll be like screaming and cheering them on. But um, yeah, I'm just super excited, and, and and definitely getting to watch them helps. But I, I think I think I would have had the same emotion whether I watched them or didn't watch them if they were on the same card, not on the same card. But obviously, I'm I'm happy that they were you know it's it's good to be around people that, that you're comfortable around and of course the big news after the fight you called out Mackenzie Dern and we've talked about this matchup before because of the history in LFA um you know just how, how do you feel like you'd match up against her uh, her jiu-jitsu is obviously out of this world but how do you see your skill set matching up against hers yeah uh her jiu-jitsu is great um but it's kind of it kind of actually takes back to, to when the UFC started I mean that's the style you know she's got jiu-jitsu but what else does she have? I mean, she's learning the rest of it and she's growing in the, re the rest of it, but um, she's definitely the jiu-jitsu fighter. And <clears throat> uh, I'm not a jiu-jitsu fighter and I'm not a striker. I'm a well-rounded fighter. So um, I have all the transitions. I have the in-betweens. And uh, I, have the, I have the advantage in that sense. So I think, I think uh, the, the person who can put it all together is the person that's going to win that fight because – you know, if you don't want to go to the ground with someone, you just keep the range. You know, it's hard to take someone down when they keep range on you. Um, and, and, you know, if you want to take someone down, then you got to you gotta strike your way into the clinch. And the only way to take someone down is if you know how to blend your striking into your, into your clinch and into your takedown. So um, that's definitely something that she, she has not mastered yet. She's getting better at, but she has not mastered that yet. And, and uh, we definitely have the, um, the advantage in that area. If, if Mackenzie isn't the next opponent, is there anyone else you're looking at? Because uh, just looking at it on paper, the UFC might be a little hesitant to take two of their, you know, best stars, you know, prospects uh, against each other this early. Uh, that, that's just a school of thought. Yeah, honestly, I mean, um, that's the fight that I've, I've looked at. I haven't looked at too many other ones. Um, we'll see. I, I, I don't know past that, honestly. <laughs> When uh, when are you looking to return? I'm sure, uh, you know, you've had a look at some of the cards for next year. Is there anyone in particular you're looking to get on? Um, yeah, so I've said it a couple of times. Oh, March the ESPN card, be, yeah. Yeah, March 2nd would be a good one. Or the uh, the ESPN card, the first one, would be a little too soon. I have a couple of things I have to get looked at um, and checked out. But, um, yeah, I would like to be on, on sometime in the beginning or the early middle of the year. That uh, would be nice. What's been the feedla feedback like from the fans? Because, uh, you know, those in the know, like I said, have, have seen your great performances on Contender Series and in LFA. But this was another level because this was a huge card. It was in your home state and also, uh, you know, being on the main card. I uh, gained 30,000 followers overnight. Really? Nice. Okay. <laughs> I did, yeah. Um, and I didn't know that until my mom, went, I guess my mom was like refreshed on her Instagram. She's like, what the heck just happened? She's like, you just got however many followers. Yeah, I, well, I think I started Fight Week at like, like 10,000 or something like that. And I'm at like 42. Um, so, I mean, I mean, that's been good. You know, I've, I've, uh, a lot of people have realized who I am and, and are going to continue to. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the feedback's been great. I have a lot of people behind me and, and there's always going to be the people that love you and the people that hate you and you listen to both, but, but you, but you let it come in and go back out the other ear. So, um, I'm just going to stay the same person I've always been and, and just, keep going have you had a lot of people from you know growing up being like oh i saw your fight like people now coming out of the woodwork uh you know trying to get a hold of you i mean i mean there's a lot of people you know that you my phone just keeps buzzing i'm sorry oh, i know it's <laughs> I know, it, no you're, you're popular you're popular it I get keeps it. going up um yeah i mean there's a lot of people and that's just the way it is you know i i, I don't know how to, i don't know how to talk about it i mean you get a lot of people that you're like man i didn't even know you like that's not rude or anything, but I didn't even know you existed. I didn't even know you were, like, in my family. Like, I don't even know who you are. Like, um, you get you get some of those. Um, and it's it's different, but that's okay. You know, it's just part of, part of it, and you can't change it, so oh well. Have you talked to the UFC since the win, and if so, have they said anything to you? Um, I, I sent Dana a text. We talked a little bit. Um, and uh just a couple of things back and forth um I, I get i said thank you and i talked to mick a little bit so thank you um yeah i'm just i'm just thankful for for the opportunity and and i just told them you know without 
you guys and with everyone who's been part of the UFC for the past 25 years, I'm like, this would not be something that I could ever do. So um, I'm super thankful for that. And uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, quickly, uh, I, I know, um, you know, the, the weight cut, uh, you ended up uh, coming in a pound over and then you ended up, uh, you know, making weight, but was this weight? Half yeah, half, half, half a pound. Sorry. Um, yeah, no, we got to clarify that for sure. W- was there an issue cutting weight this time around or was it just the scale? What was sort of the issue? <clears throat> no, I mean, I was, it was a hard cut. Um, and just like I said, on my post fight interview, um, I'm flying out tonight to, to Vegas to start working on officially working on getting it reversed, uh, getting my diet back up. I've, I haven't been above a thousand to 1200 calories in over a year and a half. Like, that's just like, I haven't, and I've been training on sometimes even four, four times a day. So, um, it's about time that I, that I find someone that, that can help me reverse out of that. And, uh, I've had a lot of nutritionists that I've worked with and they've been amazing. Um, but clearly they're not nutritionists, you know, I mean, uh, anyone knows that, that you cannot function, like even a normal human cannot function on a thousand calories, let alone a professional athlete. So, um, the, the good news is, is I have not even scratched the surface of my performance potential. Um, you guys, everyone thinks that that was a good performance on, on a Saturday night, but that was me not working off of a thousand calories a day. Let's see what happens when I'm, when I'm on a, on a real, a real training and a real, um, nutrition plan that's going to elevate my performance and, and let me be the athlete that I need to be. Um, but yeah, this, this week was, uh, that weight cut was rough. I, I started fight week around 134, which was not what I wanted to do. We were trying to come in at 126 and for 12 weeks, we tried to diet down. It didn't work. So I just, you know, increased the workload and, uh, tried to take a few more rest days every once in a while and try to get my cortisol levels down. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I ended up cutting somewhere near like 16, 17 pounds of water. Uh, too much, way too much. It was, it was rough. Uh, and we needed every second that we had. Last question before we let you go. Obviously, everyone's talking about it. The knockout of the year. Possibly the no- best knockout of all time. The year year Rodriguez uh, finishing that Korean was, Zombie. That was amazing. Yeah, that just your reaction incredible. to that. That was, uh, that elbow, man. That was, and, and he was winning the fight. I mean, Korean Zombie, he was winning that. I mean, he had it. And then, yeah, that's just how, that's just how crazy the sport is. I mean, one second, one second left. and. And that's what happened. But if you watch that over and over, I mean, I can't even tell you how many times I've seen that and hit replay. But um, the way Yair did that, I mean, that's something that, that he trained. You know, that's not that's not an accident. And some people are like, oh, well, that that could have been an accident. You know, whatever. But there's no accident now. That's someone who's trained that over and over. And that's something I need to pick up on. I want to learn that. You know, I, I need to learn how to do that. Um, probably will never make it look as flawless as he did, but at least, at least put it in your, in your back pocket and keep, and keep it. But that was incredible. Um, and then same thing with the, the Cerrone fight. I mean, that was, that was also a really good one because of, you know, the, the historic moment for Cowboy getting the, the most finishes and the most, what is it, the most submissions or something like that um, in the UFC history. So, I mean, the, both of those, the co-main and the main event were, I remember like, I was laying in the back with the uh, ice on my leg and I'm like screaming at the TV. I'm like, no, like it was so cool. I was like, it was good. It was, it was a great night. Macy, again, I appreciate the time. I know you're very busy today. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you got any other thank yous or shout outs, the floor is yours. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to have to start telling people where to find me anymore. Right. I think <laughs> exactly. Look it up. Um, but yeah, just, it's just under my name on, on Instagram and Twitter, Facebook, all of that. So um yeah just huge shout out to method flow my my sponsor that's been with me uh out here in colorado for um ever since you know my my earlier fights and um and grunt style is also another one of my sponsors and uh i'm open to more so i'm here